Um, yeah. <laughs> the Bassmaster 25 Ultimate Fishing Hacks, Pooch, <laughs> April 2017. <laughs> you know, um, I I really like halter tops. If you, if you didn't know that. <laughs> In fact, I saw a, a woman that was wearing a halter top earlier, and a lot of them like the freedom that it gives their chest. <laughs> and my thought was, oh, look at you. You like wearing halter tops. Good for you. It's always... they can be They're, they just cover the front so they tie in the back they don't have a back to them yeah. <laughs> quite often when a woman just you notice this halter top right here it just ties right there and it ties around her neck yes 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 she actually doesn't have any clothing on her back yeah. <laughs> now her front side probably feels a lot of well she's not wearing a brassiere <laughs> What? <laughs> it's so good that she feels that freedom. <laughs> now, <laughs> I think it's really, really nice. <laughs> I was reading this, yeah. and uh, there's been quite a few uh, innovations. You know, 70 years of unprecedented innovation. <laughs> Skeeter Performance Fishing Boats, back in 1948, that's where all it stood. It started with a, a plywood boat, yes, just over 13 feet in length. <laughs> they started making boats out of plywood back in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> But what I got excited about yes, was uh, they started using uh, aluminum boats. Pooch. Could you get me all the aluminum manufacturers throughout the world? You know, when you're building one of these aluminum, structural aluminum brace through its full XL composite and transform, I thought it was, well, the aluminum deck grid system. I know how important aluminum is to the world and how much electricity it uses. <laughs> you know, somebody thought that we should just uh, pulverize it and spray it on the environment so as to reduce the amount of global warming. <laughs> I thought it was a bad idea. <laughs> now, all these aluminum manufacturers in every country of the world, I'd like to know all their employees in 20 miles down. <laughs> Now, the thought was this aluminum that they're using, yes, there's no way I could get into the boat manufacturing business using a composite metal at very high temperatures. <laughs> Let's say instead of aluminum, because I don't know what uh, what temperature they mold it at. <laughs> but I was to use a composite metal <laughs> at two to 3,000 degrees. Is there any way that it would be able to float if I molded it just right <laughs> using salt water so as to temper it so that the tensile strength of it it's rust resistant and rust proof <laughs> when you have a boat in water and that's a rust problem is it <laughs> 